The demand for EVs has increased abruptly recently, so manufacturers are putting in a whole lot of ideas to make their EVs stand out from the rest. Well, we have gotten a new SUV that will shock the EV world entirely. Don't believe us? Well, we have got all with us in this video. So hey viewers, welcome back to Tech Addicts. Today we are back with an amazing topic. Today we'll discuss a well-known SUV that will be ready to shock the EV world. Are you excited guys? So without any delay, let's dive into the video. But before that, please hit the bell icon and subscribe to the channel to get every single update about the channel. Mary Barra, CEO and Chair of General Motors, announced at the 2022 CES Technology Trade Show on Wednesday that the company plans to offer two more electric vehicle SUV models under the Chevrolet brand by the year 2023. These will be in addition to the forthcoming Silverado EVWT pickup. In the spring of 2023, Chevrolet will also release the Silverado work truck, and then in 2024, the company will introduce a more premium luxury variant known as the Silverado RST. Both trims will have a standard DC fast charging capacity that can reach up to 350 kilowatts and an estimated range of 400 miles. The introduction of the Silverado has been anticipated for some weeks at this point. However, Wednesday was the first time that the business offered additional details and even some teaser photographs of other planned Chevrolet electric vehicles. Chevrolet has announced that it would add an electric vehicle to its range in the fall of 2023. The Equinox EV will be an accessible and practical compact SUV with a starting price that is projected to be somewhere around $30,000 in the US. Barra also confirmed that Chevrolet will release the Blazer in 2023, although it will be marketed as a 2024 model, and she stated that additional information will be released later this year. She did add that the Blazer would be rightly priced and would offer a high level of sophistication in addition to a variety of options. Large format pouch battery cells are at the center of the new modular design. These cells were created by LG Chem and GM as part of a collaborative manufacturing venture between the two companies. The Chevrolet brand is not the only one owned by General Motors that will be releasing electric vehicles over the next two years. The business has begun delivering the GMC Hummer EV pickup truck and will also launch the Hummer EV SUV in 2023. Both vehicles run on electric power. There will soon be an electric GMC Sierra available for purchase, most likely also in the year 2023. This year sees the introduction of the luxurious Cadillac Lyric from General Motors' Cadillac brand. More than 30 new electric vehicles are going to be introduced to the market by the middle of the next decade, and General Motors is committed to being one of the companies that leads the way in this industry. Because of this, the company has decided that the upcoming all-electric offering it is planning to bring out would carry the same name as the well-known gas-powered Chevrolet Blazer SUV. This makes it an even more fitting choice. The 2024 Chevrolet Blazer EV will be the first mainstream model produced by GM to feature the company's next-generation Ultium batteries and chassis, as well as the Altify electrical system. It is scheduled to begin arriving in showrooms across the U.S. within the next calendar year. The Bolt EV and EUV from Chevrolet also employ a different battery system that was developed before Ultium. According to the manufacturer, the payoff will come in the form of a longer range, faster charging periods, greater handling and tons of new capabilities, including a hands-free driving system called Super Cruise. This is now an electric car, as indicated by a number of obvious indicators, the most prominent of which is the light bar that runs across the front of the vehicle. When you approach the Blazer, it puts on a light display with its backlit version of the brand's bow tie logo, and it does the same thing when you get out of the vehicle after driving it. When the SUV is plugged into a charger, it serves another, more practical use by signaling the level of charge the battery has. Because there is no engine to be cooled under the hood, the standard grille on the electric Blazer has been replaced with a decorative panel, as is the case with most new electric vehicles. The battery pack and electric motors for the Blazer are mounted underneath the load floor of the SUV, just like they were for the older GMC Hummer EV and the current Cadillac Lyric. The Blazer is based on the Ultium platform. This strategy not only results in a lower center of gravity for the car, but also generates additional room inside the passenger compartment. In spite of the additional weight caused by the modular battery pack, this should result in an improvement in both the ride and the handling of the vehicle. According to Brett Dick, the main development engineer for GM, the SS will be able to accelerate from 0 to 60 miles per hour in under 4 seconds, but the precise statistics have not yet been determined. However, there will be a compromise. The performance model will only have a range of 290 miles on a single charge whilst other models with the extended range pack can get up to 320 miles on a single charge. Although Chevy has not yet finalized all of the statistics on charging, 
the company anticipates that the Blazer will be able to add as much as 78 additional miles of range in just 10 minutes when using public DC fast chargers. The vast majority of drivers are anticipated to charge their vehicles at their homes or places of business. Nevertheless, the SUV comes standard with an internal charger that is capable of delivering up to 11.5 kilowatts. The variant of the Blazer EV that will be displayed to the public for the first time on Monday is the Adrenaline Red SS all-wheel drive performance model. It is the highest possible trim level out of the four that Chevrolet will make available to customers. The Blazer EV SS has the soul of a true sports car, said Bell, and although it represents the height of performance for Chevy's EV portfolio, all models have exciting capabilities that will surprise and excite genuine performance aficionados and while it represents the pinnacle of performance for Chevy's EV lineup. The Blazer EV is powered by General Motors' own Ultium propulsion technology, which comes in three different battery pack sizes. Because our battery pack is the largest in the sector, we have designed the wheelbase to have the maximum length possible. This will give us the longest wheelbase of any vehicle in the segment. We have a wide track and a low center of gravity, among other advantages. Doug Houlihan, the company's executive chief engineer, remarked, and we've got a flat low floor so the ride will be nice and pleasant. There is a list of the various trim levels of the Blazer EV together with their costs and their ranges when fully charged. Pricing for the 1LT begins at $44,955. The range is measured at 247 miles. 2LT. Prices start at 47595 base. The range is measured at 293 miles. RS. Prices begin at 51995 USD. A range of up to 320 miles is available. SS. Prices begin at 65,995 USD. The range is measured at 298 miles. Depending on the model, the vehicles are equipped with a level 2 alternating current charging capacity of 11.5 kilowatts and a standard DC public fast charging capability of up to 190 kilowatts. According to Houlihan, rapid charging can add 78 miles of range to the vehicle in just 10 minutes. Wheels measuring 19 inches are standard on the LT and 2LT, while 21 inches are standard on the RS and 22 inches are standard on the SS. According to Houlihan, the SS model will include the WOW mode, which stands for Wide Open Watts, so that it can produce the highest amount of power. It allows for the discharge of more energy, resulting in increased speed. The LT comes standard with front-wheel drive, while the 2LT may be had with either FWD or AWD. The RS has both rear-wheel drive and all-wheel drive. The SS is a high-performance all-wheel drive vehicle that comes standard with GM's hands-free Super Cruise system. So for now, we are at the end of the video and I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, then give this video a thumbs up and smash that subscribe button and press the bell icon so you will never miss any update. If you have any questions or queries in your mind, tell me in the comment box and also check out our channel you find really cool stuff.